What's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla and today we're going to be talking about hearing aids. So there's basically two different styles and types of hearing aids. So in the ear hearing aids and then behind the ear hearing aids. So I have behind the ear so I fit my mold in and it goes right behind the ear as you can see here. Um, I'll put my other one in so you can see it. This is what it looks like front on. You can kind of see that I'm wearing something. Um, and then this mold is clearer than this one. So if you're looking at me, this one's more noticeable. And then when you see, you can see it behind my ear and the in the ear one is usually tan or darker or lighter. It kind of just depends on your skin tone, um, which is really nice that they are able to match your skin tone. So whatever you prefer it just goes in your ear and it does not have something that goes behind um i have tried different hearing aids if you go to your audiologist um definitely go to a reputable one just let you guys know my grandma's used costco and her hearing aids suck um i don't suggest going to those please don't do it hers like there's echo there's feedback i uh, i hate it for her <laughs> um but I have always liked behind the ear, mostly because they just feel secure. When I went like this and stuff like that with my other one, like, or when I tried the in the ear, it just always felt like something was clogging it and it was just so bulky and heavy. I just really did not like the feel of it. Um, it doesn't mean like you <laughs> have to have these or like behind the ear or other ones. Um, it's just, I really like these better. Um, so I am definitely trying to wear my hearing aids more. If you've been along with my journey, you know I hate them. And I try to need to get new ones. I actually need to get new ones. So my behind the ear ones are Oticon. They last about, you know what? As much as you put into them, you'll get out of them if you take care of them well. It's a good like five to six years. But then again, I got them when I was in high school, so it was 2017. That's almost five-ish years of use and wear out of them. Um, I do have to say the drawback that I will never like about them um, is, so it's like right here, like it's a sensitivity thing, and you will hear the wind. Like, it will blow in your ear. It will make the most uncomfortable sound. Um, even if I'm not wearing hearing aids, the wind does not bother me that much. But definitely with these, it will fuck you up. Oh, um, It will be really annoying. And I don't think I'll ever like that about hearing aids. I've talked to people who have in-the-ear hearing aids. And wind does that to them too. So I just think it's a hearing aid flaw. Um, I don't even know how you would get around that, <laughs> um, but I don't know. I've just always liked the security of behind the ear hearing aids rather than just in the ear ones. Um, they're also really fun to customize. Um, when I was younger, obviously kids love to have colors and everything. So I had bright orange molds. One was blue, one was red of like this. And now I got older, I didn't want to draw as much attention to it. I think if I was younger, um, I used to be so insecure about wearing my hearing aids. Um, specifically, if I was like 19, I would be like, I want everything to be skin color, um, which I'm very pale, so it'd probably be a very pale hearing aid to try to blend in. Um, but now it's just like, it's kind of a part of me. <laughs> I'm just like, whatever, screw it. Whatever color I enjoy is what I will enjoy. Um, and yeah, I I really like behind the ear hearing aids a lot more. Um, so talking about hearing aids, it's what do you guys think is like the best hearing aid on the market now? I've always had Oticon. I think this is Oticon Sensei. I had Oticon Safari before. I love them. I really like how you can turn it up and turn it down. And I also really like how it tells you what the middle is. It makes like a certain, like it has a little music to turn it on, which is cute, fun. 
and then in the middle you can hear like this in the middle one if you're like oh like my hearing's not too well today my hearing's doing okay i have it to um a setting which i need to fix that if i turn this one up it turns this one up too if i turn it down same thing which i need to turn off because i have I do have a bilateral hearing loss. Um, I am now mild to severe, not mild, I don't know. I don't, it's pretty severe hearing loss, I think. Everyone asks me my decibel hearing loss, but I've never been told my decibel hearing loss. I always been told, oh, moderate to severe, sorry. I've always been told like moderate, mild to moderate, moderate, moderate than severe. I just never really asked about my decibels more just because like, I'm deaf, I'm deaf, <laughs> I can't hear, I can't hear. Um, so I've never really asked about that. Um, but yeah, this is why I prefer behind the ear hearing aids. So what are your thoughts?